YouTube. Last video I posted, I said I would be back, and I wasn't back. And thanks to um, Morgan Beaver. Anyways, Morgan.Beaver on Instagram. Check out Morgan on Insta. Pretty rad dude. He just got me started in vlogging again, right now. Just happened. So, so far today, woke up at the crack of dawn and we, I cleaned my boat from yesterday. I, we had breakfast, then we went and saw my dad's new car. Then we went to Academy, then Target. Target, then the mall. And at the mall today, something very awesome happened. I finally found me some cool pants. Like, they're the cool pants that are like khaki and they, they don't have, they like have like strings and the bottom has like elastic and it's like that, you know what I'm saying? I got cool pants though, finally. I got some dope ass shoes too. Okay, story time. Warbo 80, 82, 82, 82, and we're, we're, we're going, right? We're hauling ass. You know, by the time you're boat 82, the water is just like a washing machine. And there's like, there's 20 of us. We're all running. Look over to my right hand side, and like way off in the distance is a skeeter like way off to my right so we're going and i'm pulling up onto five fingers which is the cove that i wanted to go fishing so i start like slowly moving over to get over to that side of the lake well i look back i look back at him i'm like 10 boats ahead of him which is pretty amazing because he was running one of those like new one of the new skeeters with the 250 yamaha on the back and i'm whipping his ass in a ranger so that's probably number one why he was mad number two he says that i got him wet when i cut in front of him i didn't cut in front of well i did cut in front of him but i was so far ahead like i don't understand how it why it was a big deal we go back into this cove and like if you know anything about five fingers it splits off into five different little sections and so we go back into ours and we're idling up and I turn around and I look and there's this boat coming towards us like hauling ass like right beeline towards us so I'm like all right this dude's gonna try to cut try to cut in front of us so I go back up on plane a little bit farther and then settle down like right before where I want to fish he, he pulls up next to me I have no clue who this dude is no clue he's like hey what boat number are you and like in my head I'm like why why does it matter and I just go, I don't know, I'm like 82 or 83. He's like, you're done. You're done. You're screwed. I'm calling the tournament director right now, and I'm going to report you. Never in my 20 years have I ever been cut off in a tournament by a boat. And I was like, what, like, what are you talking about? He's like, you cut in front of me, and you got my co-angler wet. You see my co-angler, he's wet. He witnessed you doing it. You're going to get in trouble, and you're going to be DQ'd. I'm going to get you DQ'd. And I'm like, dude, what, like, what, are you, like, what are you even talking about? Like, don't call the tournament director. Like, if you have an issue, like, let's talk about it. I was like, dude, I'm sorry if I cut in front of you. I'm sorry if I got you wet. I'm, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do about it now? There's nothing to do. This dude was so pissed. Like, so mad. He's like, I'll call him right now. I'm going to call him. I get in line, like, to, to get my bag. And I'm talking to the guy in front of me. And we're talking about it. And I was like, yeah, this dude was pissed off. Like, I cut in front of him. Guess who was standing in front of him? Hit the co-angler that I got wet. So he turns around, he's like, hey, that was us. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, I was taken back because I was about to talk some crap, but I actually didn't, thank the Lord. And I was like, dude, hey, I'm really sorry that I got you wet. Like, I thought I was far enough ahead of you. Obviously I wasn't, I'm sorry. He goes, no, man, it really wasn't even that big of a deal. I don't understand why he got so mad at you. I'm like, hey, just don't tell him I'm here. Don't tell him what, because I wasn't wearing what I was wearing in the morning. I was wearing like my rain suit and my jacket and all that. And he's like, ah, I won't. Just, just keep your head down. So, I was like, is he, is he cooled off by now? He goes, yeah. He's got a pretty good sack, so like he's pretty chill. But he's still, he's still gonna talk to him. And I was like, all right, whatever. Anyways, he was right in front of me, and he didn't recognize me. He goes up and he weighs his fish, and he goes, 
Like he turns to the, the tournament director and was like, yeah, I've never ever in my life gotten wet during a tournament. Like, I can't believe how rude that guy was, blah, blah, blah. So he told him what boat number I was. He told him everything. I'm next up. Cause the guy didn't know my name, he just knew my boat number. And they don't call boat numbers when they call you up. So he calls me up and it's just like, did you have a good day? And I went, no, weighed my fish and then left. He didn't talk to me about it. He didn't question me about it. And like, I, I appreciate FLW not like jumping on it and be, like getting on my ass about it. Cause I honestly didn't do I, anything wrong. I didn't do a single thing wrong. I'm sorry that my back wash rooster tail got you wet. If you don't want to get wet, don't fish. Hi people. Okay, it's not your fault, it's my fault. <laughs>